Hey y'all, what's up? Today I'm gonna to be going over my EDC. This is my everyday carry, it's what I carry every day everywhere I go. First thing we're gonna start off with, I don't always carry this, but I carry it a good amount of the time. Um, this is just a bracelet that I can slide on. Um, it's made of high carbon steel, so it acts as a flint striker. Um, I've lost some weight, so it comes off pretty easily. Um, and then I can just strike either like this or like this against a flint, um, and then I can produce a spark that way. Really nice and convenient. Um, these are all 90 degree angles, so it strikes pretty well. I really like this and I carry it a good amount of time, so I thought I'd bring it in this. And then next, I have some sort of fire source. What somebody told me once is you need to have at least two ways to start a fire, two ways to cut something, and a snack on you at all times. This is just a rudimentary lighter I have. I need to fill it up with lighter fluid, but it does work. Um, and I, I like this because it's inconspicuous, shows my pride of the army. Um, it usually is a pretty quick flame. I don't have to mess around with a ferrule rod or anything. So this is a nice little thing to keep around. Next, I wear this watch. This is a cheap $20 infantry watch. Um, and I also put a compass on there. I like this because it's very durable. I don't have to worry about this breaking or anything. And also it's very cheap. So even if it does break, it's cost me 20 bucks, I don't care. Now I made this little knife. And the cool thing about this knife is it's made from 1095 high carbon steel, but I can slide it in my watch because of the size. And this is why I made it for this watch is because I can really cinch this down with these nice little laces. Now I have a watch, I have a compass, and I have a knife, which can be quickly and readily accessed and then put away. This is inconspicuous. Nobody looks for a knife on your watch. They just think this is part of your watch latch or something. Um, and if you need to, you can actually put this in your belt loop. Um, I might show you how to do that real quick. Um, I like this setup. Um, again, this is just an infantry watch. I think it's water resistant, not waterproof. And then it does have a little bubble compass on there, which is fairly accurate, but you have to get it exactly level. There we go. But it's fairly accurate, so I like it. Next, I have the SOG Slim Jim. I like this because it is very, very thin. Look at how thin that is in relation to my thumb. It's extremely thin um, and it's quick release. This is stainless steel, so you're not gonna get a strike very easily. You can, because this back ridge is high carbon. So you can do that and that's helpful. Um, I, I just like how it's a quick release. It's small, so I don't have to worry about just hauling it somewhere. I did not make this, obviously. I did make this little blade. Next off is my wallet. So in my wallet, I'm old fashioned. I keep a phone book in my wallet. This is for contacts, because if my phone has a problem, this way I can call anyone. I'm old, very old fashioned. I don't need to worry about my phone having a contact book on the phone. I already have one of those on my phone, but what if my phone gets wet or something? I have this. If this gets wet, it's okay because these are just just paper. It's not gonna immediately go away. It's gonna have problems, it's not gonna immediately go away. Um, also, I have some extra paper in here so I can write on one of these blank pages if I need to take notes or something. Next, I have this small multi-tool in here. It has a saw, which I've used three times. It has a nice little reciprocal I can use to make a sundial or something if I need has some hex wrenches, bottle opener, it has an edge on this side, it has a little um, screwdriver on one side. Honestly, I get the most use out of this, out of all these items, because this is not the feature of it, but you, what you can do is you can split a wood, a piece of wood down the middle, and then you can slide this thing in there, and with a little bit of lashing from a shoelace, you can make this into an ax because of this blade you can make it into a fully functional ax, which is super helpful. 
Next up, we have my wallet. I'm not gonna show you what's in my wallet because obvious reasons. It's just an access denied RFID blocking wallet. I really do like these. Um, they're very useful, but um, yeah, it's just a simple wallet. It has um, two pockets up here. This part folds up. I'm not gonna show you because I have cards in there, but it does fold up, um, which is really convenient. This part, you can also slide things in here. So what I've done before in the past is I've taken one of these knives I've made and I had to slide it in here. Now you have a wallet knife nobody knows about. Um, and you can actually pull it out pretty quickly. Like if say if you're getting mugged or something, you pull this out and be like, oh yeah, here, I have some money in here. Boom. Now you can punch it with this, you can do whatever you need to. That's why I like having these small little knives and I'll show you real quick what it looks like in a belt. Next, a few more items I like to have around. This is my belt. Um, this is just military spec, completely normal. Every soldier knows this. Um, in the coyote color, it has a classic, horrible belt strap. I wear this because it's inconspicuous, it's tactical. I can put a gun, I can put a knife, put whatever I need on this. It's really convenient. All right, so here's what it looks like with the belt on. Now, my knife, what I can do is I can just slide it right in between the buckle, just like this. And now, it doesn't look any different, but I have a blade here. So I just go like this, pull it out, boom, I have a blade. I can use this for sear, I can use this to get away from anything, and it's inconspicuous. This will pass. Um, most metal detectors, because they're gonna have you take your belt off anyways. Um, and this actually can attach the buckle with a little bit of a variation. Don't take this on any planes or anything. That's not what I'm saying. This is just for emergencies. This is a convenient thing to have. If you need to break a lashing, if you need to cut yourself out of something, this is a nice convenient thing to use. It also can be modified into a, a fighting tool. Um, it's about an inch but it's still gonna chew something up and it's, they're not gonna have a happy day. Um, this thing is very convenient, very discreet, and I love this on my EDC. And now, next up, I have one of these. That's how good I am at magic. So this is a bandana made um, from a very durable material. Very, very strong. Um, I sewed this myself. I know all your stitchers are like, oh, he did it so bad. Well, it works for me. That's the important part. So I usually wear this. Um, I can make this into a mask if I need to. I can filter water with this. I can do so many things with this. I'll put a video out soon of what you can do with one piece of fabric in a survival situation. Um, so usually I wear this or I wear one of these. This is just a tubular mask. I don't wear it for the mask purpose. I don't believe in that garbage. Thank you, YouTube, for demonetizing me right there. Um, so this is just a tube that you put over your head. This can be made into a mask. You need to hide your face. This can be made into um, a hat, which is kind of convenient. Here, I'll show you right now. So you spin this up, and then you pinch it, pull it through. And there you go. You got a little hat. This is nice for cold weather, hot weather. If you need to get away from the sun, this will work. Makes you look a little bit weird, but it works and I like it. You can also filter water with this. So usually I'll wear something of this accord around my neck when I'm going somewhere, just so I always have an extra piece of fabric because with this, you can make it into a sling if you needed to. You can um, tear this apart, filter water again. You can make this into a cravat. Um, what you could even do is split this down the middle, take a fabric marker, and you can make a map on this. And then when you need to, like in a severe situation, um, you can have your map on there. And then if you get a wet with anything, it can be lake water, it can be spit, it can be urine, um, you can get it wet with anything, then that map will disappear. This is something that the Army Pathfinder School would teach you. Hopefully I get to go there someday. Um, I've just read online, this is a really nice thing to have. Um, suggest everyone 
Even if it's just a shirt, even if it's a shirt you don't care about, you're willing to cut a sleeve off, make sure that you have some sport, some form of fabric that you can use. Um, you can filter water with a shirt, but your shirt's gonna get wet. And if it's cold weather, that's not gonna be good. That's why I always like to have an extra piece of fabric on me. And then one more thing I always carry on me is my dog tag. Um, one survival use of this is you can use it as a signaling device, which not a lot of people talk about, but you can actually use it, I'm inside right now, but you can use it to signal aircraft for help. Um, you can use it for all sorts of things. Now this is my everyday carry, this is not my survival kit. Um, again, you're gonna wanna have at least two cutting implements, or one, it, but you want to. Two cutting implements, and you want a snack, and then you're gonna want to have some way to start a fire. Because if you have those, survival is gonna be so much easier. And a lot of these things can be modified for self-defense. Um, watch for my video of how to use fabric, um, 20 different ways or 10 different ways, I haven't really decided yet, of how to use fabric in a survival scenario. Um, and I'll show you how to make weapons out of that fabric, how to make cordage, how to make all sorts of stuff. Anyways, that's all I've got for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, smash that like button for me, and I'll see you guys for the next one.